Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing One Piece, episodes 194 and 195. So apparently these two episodes are going to conclude the Skype arc and I'm really glad. The arc was uh, very long but very satisfying with a great conclusion. It was very very good. I think I prefer it more than Alabasta story-wise because the stuff with Noland and Kalgara and the history of Shendians and Sky Island and how it ended up there, the stuff with Golden Bell, with Shandora, with Poneglyphs, it, it's just amazing. And there is a bunch of small details as well. Uh, I prefer fights from Alabasta, that's for sure we had those amazing moments like Zoro against Mr. One, Sanji against Mr. Two, Luffy against Crocodile with that epic OST of course, so when it comes to fights, Alabasta is my number one, but story-wise I think I prefer Sky P, even though I still think that Alabasta story was freaking amazing as well. I also enjoyed quite a lot the comedy of this arc, especially in early parts, it was really great. And last two episodes were just so satisfying to watch, man, simply beautiful. Luffy ringing the bell and people praying, Eneru's defeat. So Luffy basically helped Cricket and he helped Viper as well. He helped those two to fulfill their dreams. He stopped 400 years history of wars between uh, Sky people and Shendians. He also helped of course Gunfall by simply by defeating Eneru and uh, allowing Gunfall to reconnect with his people which he really cares about. We had that amazing party and yeah fucking Pagaya is alive as well so I don't mind that too much it doesn't affect the story. It's kind of the same situation as with Pell. I would have preferred if they stayed uh, dead. I mean, they didn't die in the first place, but you know what I mean. Because at least a little something, a little bitter spot in the arc, but I don't mind it at all. Another thing that was pointed out by my Patreons is that Endless Vart is actually the moon. <laughs> and I would never guess that, bro. What the heck? And they even showed Eneru going, uh, literally there is a big shot of moon and it didn't even uh, come to my mind because I find it odd that uh, something like that would be possible in one piece. But I was actually told by my patrons that Eneru made it to the moon, I don't know how man. And that he met some space pirates and stuff, so that's pretty cool. I never thought that a One Piece would actually go to space. It feels kind of odd, but I don't mind that at all as well. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty interesting. Oh yeah, another thing was that I've been told by people that next part of the story is actually filler. And you guys know how am I when it comes to fillers. I'm watching them no matter what, but I always ask you if you want to see my reaction to fillers or not. But people told me that next filler is actually one of the most beloved ones in One Piece fandom, so I'm definitely doing reactions to those fillers as well. So I'm letting you guys know that. Okay, I'm ready for the final two episodes of this arc, so without further ado, Let's jump right into episode 194. Let's begin. And that was perfect conclusion to this arc. I really enjoyed these two episodes. It was pure emotion and it was so funny. The first episode was funny and emotional as well. Seeing everything that we accomplished up there, seeing everyone smile, Aisa, Lucky, Viper, Shendians, The Elder, uh, Gunfall, Konis, Pagaya, everyone man, everyone will be happy, everyone accepted Gunfall as their god, they will live as, they will live in unity from now on, 
I like that Viper said in front of uh, Kalgara statue that even though they fulfilled their quest that they will still not lose their pride and he asked for Kalgara to continue watching over them and that was so beautiful. Uh, we got tons of gold, we could get even more with that giant pillar that would be like too much perhaps god knows how many uh berries would we be able to get for that gold and uh, luffy is dumb bro he's like oh let's buy a bronze statue <laughs> so we did ended up this arc with actually some bags man bags of gold nami is the happiest about that i'm sure of it and it was just so good, man. Uh, Usopp getting the dials was huge as well, because we know that Usopp makes all these little gadgets and weapons. and He knows a little bit of everything, so I really respect Usopp for that. And he came in clutch right now with those dials that he attached under the ship, so that he can make ship uh, <clears throat> a little bit slower, so that we don't come crashing down. And the octopus did... Uh, shrink at the end and we did fell down but it was fine our ship is still in one piece so that's important the stuff with the poneglyphs though man so robin found out about poseidon that's a different at first it's because it's letter p i i was kind of confused because uh i didn't manage to remember right away that it was called pluton in Alabasta and there is Poseidon so there is two and perhaps even more weapons weapons that Crocodile one of the warlords wanted to have a weapon that can destroy a whole country who built these weapons why why do we have a blank history why man this is so mysterious and so interesting I want to find out so badly, man, and the letter D is quite important. That fucker Blackbeard also has D in his name. And Luffy, of course, has D, and it's Gold D. Roger, who left a message by using those letters from Poneglyphs. He said, uh, I was here, I will guide this text to the end of the world. And Robin was so shocked when she saw that. And she said that there is uh, two types of poneglyphs. One that tells the information and another one that points to another poneglyph. Right? So if you find all the poneglyphs, you get like this one message. And that is real poneglyph. So it's not just one poneglyph among all these poneglyphs. It's all of them, man. So she will need to go to God knows how many different places to be able to connect everything. So Robin was very shocked to find out that Gold Roger was actually there and Gunfall said that he knows about him. He was there 20 years ago and then Robin afterwards realized what guy the text means and uh, she was shocked that he can also use those characters from poneglyphs and that he engraved them so it's crazy because later on they uh, even said that luffy kinda reminds them of gold roger which was really moment that gave me chills man and i remember that guy from the uh, who is guarding laboon right he was also mentioning roger when he was sending Luffy off and I always like those moments, man. And Robin said that she needs to guide those texts to the end of Grand Line to Rough Tell. And the elder of Shandian started crying and he was uh, saying that their duty is finally over. Simply beautiful stuff. That is something that I'm really interested about as well. If I missed something or, or if I didn't understood something about Poneglyphs, please let me know in the comments. The conclusion to this arc was perfect, man. The Conis and Pagaya sent us off with the, on the cloud end. I like that they didn't uh, tell us what is our 
uh, way of going down going to be. <laughs> she just, uh, we thought that it's going to be a milky way down there, right? But it doesn't make much sense because that would be visible from the blue sea, right? And everyone would know about the sky island. So it was actually a cliff and we uh, started falling down and Connie summoned that balloon octopus that helped us go there. So all in all, fantastic story. Skype was so amazing and it fills me with rage when I know that some people tell other reactors to skip this arc. What the fuck? I guess that's all for today. Uh, I know that next up are fillers, which I will react to. So next time I upload video, it's going to be fillers. So I am excited about that because uh, I've been told that these fillers are actually really fun. So I'm looking forward to that. Thank you as always for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see a few episodes early. The link is in the description. I will be seeing you very soon with another video. Until then, take care and have a nice day. See ya guys.